this recording? Yep, this recording. What's up, everyone? CK here, CK with Dory Scar. Hope y'all can hear me pretty good using my little ear. But, anyways, I see the title. Y'all know what it's about. We're gonna talk anime because that's kind of all I really do now on YouTube. Now, I just do anime videos. I try to stream, but no one really gained my clout, so it is what it is. Follow me on Twitch, though. Play TK if you want to try to catch my streams. But anyway, the point of this video is this anime. So I did a video, I don't know when it was, it's probably like two, three weeks ago. I was like, this winter 2020 season probably is going to be a bust. Let me make sure it's up here. Yeah, you should be able to hear me more. But uh, it, I was saying, like, winter 2020 is a bust for me, like, season wise. All the stuff I was looking forward to from when I looked over all the list of it, I was like, yeah. Uh, stuff that I was looking forward to really wasn't, I really wasn't feeling it. I think it's been like at least two or three weeks I did a video now. So, kind of an update, kind of, kind of like a video I did last season, which was fall. I kind of did like real like of anime you should watch. It also was kind of like an update too on like this season, my thoughts so far pretty much. That's probably why I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need this video. So, this is my current anime list, also I'm watching. In a total of 18 stuff at the moment. Uh, some of the stuff is from previous seasons, obviously. A Hero No Zora, that's from the fall season. Uh, Black Clover is from, 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 I mean, it's from forever ago. I don't know. I can't even tell you when that started back. My Hero Academia, that's from last season. Baruto, that's from way back years ago. Uh, Darren's game, that's a new one for the season. That's one that I picked up. This uh, this is this is one I actually talked about in the last video. I did. Uh, Doro Hedero, that's a new one. That was one of the animes I didn't get to see back then in my main video because it was the air date was, wasn't the episode wasn't out yet, pretty much. And one of the animes I was also looking forward to turned out to be a short anime like the other one I was looking forward to. So that one I'm like, that one I'm got dropped. I'm not gonna wait weekly for two to four main episodes of animes like I'm just gonna drop it the plot is probably not gonna be good or interesting unless you binge it uh i picked this one up this is pokemon this is a pokemon short series thing i know this say pokemon but it's a pokemon it's called pokemon uh something wings phoenix wings or something like that total new characters and it's a little short ova type anime uh i picked this one up but it's also Hatina Illusion. I'll talk about these separately in a few. Just want to go over the new stuff. Uh, this is in the species reviewers. I picked this one up. Uh, I heard about it from someone I know from Twitch. He's the Edgy Guy, the Hentai Guy. That's that's his nicknames. I call him. I picked that one up. So this what I just said it being he him being the Edgy Guy and Hentai Guy or whatnot like that. Y'all kind of know what that will be about. <laughs> uh, this one, I talked about this one. This is one I wasn't really sure I was going to like or not, but I'm still watching it at the moment. I picked this one up. This one is new, okay. Uh, this one from last season. This is the Welcome to Demon School Rumor. Uh, this is one that I was looking forward to the most out of another one that's coming up very soon. But this is the orphan thing. This is uh, about the. He's like a. I believe he's like a wizard or whatnot, and he uses magic and stuff i wasn't feeling the plot because it seemed like he was going to be tracing at this girl that was turned into a dragon throughout the whole series but from the recent episode it seemed like that's not going to be the entire like plot or storyline so i'm looking forward to the next episode and that probably will definitely determine if i'm going to keep watching the anime or not there's another one i picked up i talked about this one i believe i talked about this one this is one i picked up and i really really enjoy actually gotta watch the episode I haven't watched it yet matter of fact let me put a uh, I'm gonna watch this after I end up in the video there the best one Plunderer so I watched Plunderer early I did mention that Plunderer had started well Funimation did an early premiere back in December I didn't watch the early premiere but I did end up watching the episodes early still I watched it like the first month I mean the first week of January and they just now start like really releasing episodes. I think episode, I think episode two came out last week. I think so. I'm thinking, I think this week we get episode three, which is going to be the episode that kind of 
determines if I'm actually going to continue to watch this. So I'm still, still got a question mark with this anime. Because like I said, I was like, the girl was annoying me low key. And we, I, I just didn't really know, like, what was her, like, what she was going to do after she meets this guy. Like, because she's pretty much was like, she's on this journey to find this guy. Because her mother told her. But what she's going to do after that? She's just using him as a bodyguard. I was not really sure the, the story, none of stuff like that. But this is like it's going. This is like it was a pretty good anime from when I seen the first two episodes. So I'm hoping this next episode don't disappoint and keeps me intrigued. Uh, Pokemon that started last season. That this is actually a Pokemon reboot. Uh, it has no. It has no relations to any of the Pokemons that have come now. So, Sun, Moon, Platinum, the OG Pokemon show. Uh, uh, what's it? What's it? Sun, Moon, Diamond, Pearl. Uh, what's the other one? I'm trying to think of all the Pokemon shows in, in general. But anyway, it has no relation to any of those shows. It does have relation to the movie, apparently, though. The last movie they came out with is called Pokemon I Choose You, I believe. This is when Ash, they did the retold resto- story of Ash, me, and Pikachu. Uh, but yeah, it, apparently this has relation to that movie because they did a reference of it on a recent episode. But his whole reboot is Ash, and he has his, his friend, his name is Go. Go, he's not really a Pokemon trainer as he like he battles. He just pretty much, he's like a Pokemon you know the Pokemon game, Pokemon Let's Go, or what it was called, Eevee and Pikachu versions. He pretty much just throw Pokeballs and catch Pokemon. He literally just do that. He don't really battle. Well, he did. He did like one battle so far, but he's he's not like a rival or anything to Ash. He's just like his friend that's trying to catch all Pokemon. And his main goal is to catch Mew. Um, this is an anime I was looking forward to from this season that I'm, I'm enjoying. It didn't disappoint. Somali and the Forest Guardian. That's the name of it. English title. And Uchitama, I picked this one up as well. This is after I did that uh, summer 2020, I mean, this winter 2020, uh, it was a bust video. All right, so the ones, let me talk about the ones I picked up. So the ones I picked up, I talked about this one, I believe, already on the, that first video. I talked about the, the summer, I mean, my bad, the winter is a bust or whatnot. So this is the uh, Sentin, a uh, Satan Academy, how have you pronounced it? Sent to the academy, join the pack. This is about the boy. He's in the school, filled with a lot of animals. Uh, like him and his animals are cohabitating with each other. And it's this wolf girl he meets, and she wants him to join his pack. It's like a cut. It's like a funny comedy type anime. I'm really digging it, and I've been watching it ever since. I got watching an episode after this video too. Like I watch this and that, the Hero No Zora episodes. I'm gonna watch that after I do this video. So really enjoying that. Glad I picked that one up. And I seen this anime when I was when that because every new season I look at the whole list, and I saw it, but I was like, I don't think I'm gonna like it. But since a lot of animes I'm looking forward to this season was a bust, I had to pick up some new stuff. So this was one I picked up. Very glad I picked it up. This one right here, the Japanese name you can see is Koyuko Zuri Zu. Oh, I botched that. So we're bad. Koyuko Zuri. But, but anyway, the, the English name, if you put, the English name is N Spectre, I believe. N, then you put a slash, Spectre. And it's pretty much about a girl who had some weird experience happen to her when she was a kid. She kind of pretty much got kidnapped. And uh, she was, it was like, I think she got, well, actually, I don't think she got kidnapped. I think she ended up getting, getting lost. And she could see spirits and stuff and the spirits kind of helped her out and she talks to them and gives them wisdom and guidance and stuff like that it's like a supernatural type anime mystery-ish uh but i'm digging it so i picked that one up like last week and watched the episode like yesterday actually so that's that one's pretty good i'm digging it might not for everyone but i like it um let me talk about this one this is the one i, was, I said that I end up watching because of the edgy guy or the, the hentai guy I mentioned that I know from a Twitch. So I was streaming one day and I was ask, I always ask him about anime sometimes. So he, I was like, what anime are you watching? I'm looking forward to it. And he said, I'm looking for this new anime that's coming out. And I was like, what's it called? 
and he told me the name and he he, he, he already told me kind of what it's about I, was, I just laughed at him and I checked it out and it's okay I mean it's, it's nothing to really brag or anything about it's a okay anime it's funny at some parts but it's pretty much the characters of this anime doing reviews on the girls at these different brothels and uh, it's, it has censored version it has an uncensored version but it's not really much to censor it. it's not really like you seeing anyone doing the doing the deed or anything like that uh, so it's, a, it's okay I mean just something I picked up to watch uh, this is the Hintena Illusion I picked this one up last week as well it already had like two episodes out so I'll just watch those two uh, this is about a boy who wants to become a magician and he ends up going to his childhood friend house and it's like a comedy it's like a comedy type anime yeah I like comedy type anime so that's why I'm watching it it's like comedy type anime um not sure exactly what the, the can't really give you a good explanation of the plot but it's a good watch to me in my personal opinion maybe like comedy um, or whatnot uh, this like I said this is the Pokemon I told y'all about it's just a short Pokemon uh, it's a little series it's, uh, uh, it seems to be about these boys that's in this hospital, not sure what their illness is or what their illness is or what, whatever, but pretty much the boy, he wants to meet the champion of the Pokemon League. So this is the champion of Pokemon, what's the new one that just came out, Sword and Shield? His name is Leon, I believe. I, I haven't played Sword and Shield. Y'all want to give me a Switch and send me a Pokemon game? Feel free to do it. But uh, yeah. He's a champion of the Pokemon Shield, the Sword and Shield game. So he, the boy, he wants to meet. He wants to meet him and a guy from the league, like the announcer or whatnot. He gets up in the hospital. The boy was trying to get his letter to the guy and things of that nature. It's a little short, nice little watch story. You want to watch it? It's only like seven episodes in total. It's dropping weekly. Okay, another one. This is the Doro Hedero. Uh, this is this one deals with magic too, or Doro had it. Yeah, it's hit right. Doro, he Doro, or the yeah, Doro he Doro, whatever you want to call it. But uh, this one, this one deals with magic as well, but not not like uh, the best. I the best way I could explain is if you ever played the Wolf Among Us, kind of like that magic. You should not like like fairy tale. You see magic being shoot out everywhere. Or even like the new anime I mentioned before, the the this one, the sorcerer, you know, the orphan web anime. I don't know the English name for the anime, but uh, yeah, it's, it deals with kind of magic. Uh, pretty much, the main character he has an alligator as his head. He has an alligator head, pretty much. So yeah, they got this weird looking character that probably gathers people's attention, maybe. Uh, some animes like that really kind of throws me off, and I'm kind of spectacle of watching it uh, but uh, I don't think that was the right word I'm kind of questioning to, to watch it or not I was just say I don't know spectacle uh, yeah, that, was, that was not the right word but anyways I was hesitant to kind of watch it because I saw that alligator guy here but this was not this was when I was looking forward to watching guys seen it and it seemed like it's gonna be interesting to watch so pretty much the guy main character he has an alligator head and pretty much someone has put a curse on him so that's why he has the alligator head and it's kind of a little weird but this is really action this does have like some action and stuff it is kind of like a mature type enemy I would say got a lot of action got some gore he's killing dudes like it's nothing he ripped someone's face off literally on the first episode I believe um like the skin off their face I should say he ripped the skin off the person's face uh, but it's just a cool, it's a cool watch. I'm liking the characters, like the girl character on there. I like her. Uh, it's a cool watch, though. It's, it's a nice, cool watch. But yeah, he's pretty much looking for the guy that cursed him and gave him this alligator head. But yeah, I think it's a good watch. Check it out. And the link for my uh, list of animes, or the my anime list, is in the description. So you can just click that, and y'all can just see all the stuff I'm over here. Um, Darwin's game, I mentioned it on the video before, that is, uh, the death game type anime, that's it, kind of low-key remind me of Sword, I mean, my bad, I don't know why I say Sword, it remind me of, a uh, Future Diary, because it both 
involved, like this dude being involved inside this, being involved in this death game, and uh, he's pretty much trying to learn the ropes and survive and things of that nature. And he has this girl that's slow key. Uh, what's that name? That term they use? Yandere, I believe. A Yandere girl or not? She's like a crazy type girl or not? She kind of seems like she likes him. But uh, it's 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 turned out pretty good so far. I'm, so I'm I'm digging it. Oh, surprisingly, I'm looking now. It has 11 episodes. So it's one episode short of a, a usual uh, regular season of an anime would go. So that's interesting. But it's been going on. It's been going on good so far. But uh, out of this list, oh yeah, I ain't talking about Uchitama. Okay, Uch Uchitama is about an anime. Um, it pretty much the characters are animals, like dogs and cats, but they are shown as like in human form at times. I think this 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 whole manga, cause this, of course, all these all these animes are usually originate from manga. So the manga, I believe, is about like these dogs and cats, like their daily life or whatnot. And this Uchitama, I don't know if I say for the full name, but the English name would be Where's My Tama, and it's like Where's My Tama because the main character, his name is Tama. He's a he's a cat. Um, like I said, this anime, they, they show them all both as human forms and their actual animal forms. So sometimes you'll see him as a human, but he has like his cat ears, or you'll see a character with their dog ears. And at other times, they'll show them as the dog form, act them actually like a dog or a cat in some scenes like that. But it's a little cool, nice anime. I'm enjoying it. I'm feeling it. So I picked that one up, and I've been watching that for two weeks now, and I'm ready for that next episode. It's, it's a pretty good anime. Uh, have all these animes? Uh, a lot of them, a lot of these animes are kind of like lighthearted, I should say. I didn't talk. I, did I talk about? I don't think I talked about this one. The, I think I did talk about it. The uh, I'm trying to figure out the English name, but the the Hanako, y'all can read this right here. Can y'all? I forgot the I forgot the English name, but it's about this. Uh, it was a rumor going around that. Hanako, the spirit that lives in the bathroom with Grinch or Wish, yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's like a seven wonder of the school, whatnot. This girl ended up doing the uh, the requirements to get this wish, and he she meets Hanako, which is a boy. And now he's since the first episode, he the girl is now kind of like doing things for him because he kind of saved her life or whatnot. So he, she's helping him out doing things. And it's like a, a little, a little, another kind of lighthearted type story. None of this stuff was like really serious. Well, I, I, the only, I think the only thing in the season that I'm watching is kind of like serious, like a serious tone, if you want to say. Probably the Darwin's, the Darwin's game. Darwin's game, uh. Darwin's game. I think I guess I guess this is always getting the only one that's kind of like serious. Like the other ones, they got like comedy. Like I said, Uchitama, that's like a nice chill one. Uh, the Somali and the Forest Guardian. I know how this one is kind of going to end. I I got a feeling. I know the tone and things of. I know how this is going to end. It's going to be like a sad anime at the end. Something that someone I know he would say is sappy. I know. This. But I like like anime like this. I know this anime is going to probably end with a sad ending. Uh, the Plunder, like I said, I got to see more. So see more of it. I wonder, dang, I don't got a lot of episodes I see now. They have 24 total episodes. This one is the comedy, the Sentin Academy I talked about earlier. The one with the boy, the sorcerer that was chasing after that girl that was turned into a dragon, like I said. This one, this one is comedy in like kind of serious tone-ish with it. This one, this one is like complete, like calm, well I ain't gonna say completely comedy, but it kind of it's not really that serious. It's more like a mystery, I guess, comedy, comic-ish type anime. This one not serious at all. This one not serious at all. This one doesn't seem serious at all. This one doesn't seem serious at all. This one it has comic, comedic kind of comedy. Yeah, so this Darwin's game. But out of this list of the new animes that I recommend y'all to watch, definitely check out Darwin's game. Definitely check out Doro Hedero. Definitely check out. Uh, 
Somali and the Forest Guardian. Definitely check out Sentin Academy. Join the pack. That's the full name. We want to get up English wise. And check out this one right here. I said the English name is called N. And then you put a slash Spectre. And you should find that one. Uh, those are the ones I would say definitely check out for a good watch. Well, Uchi Tom is a good watch too, but I'm not sure if it's for everyone. But if you want something with a good story, Somali and the Forest Guardian, that one definitely has a good story. And that might be the only one that I say has a def definitely has a good story at this point. Somali and the Forest Guardian. Other one, other ones have some comedy type stuff to it. Other ones have good action. Door of Hero definitely has good action. The Always Game has good action. So the the, the Inspectry thing I was talking about, this one right here, the, the Japanese name. This one has, yeah, it showed a little bit of action in the first episode. It seems like it's gonna have some good action too. If you look for action. Uh, I'm not really feeling the action on this one. The orphan thing with the sorcery magic and stuff like that. Plunderer. Plunderer has some good action on the second episode that I've seen. So, yeah. Again, Darwin's game. I'll put all this. I'll put all this in the comment part actually, so y'all can uh, find it yourselves. Or uh, just actually just click the link in. You could just click on, click on it or copy the name. It's right there. But yeah, Darwin's game. Doro Hedero. Uh, Inspectre, Molly, and the Forest Guardian, and uh, Sentin Academy Joining Pack. Cause that one is funny. Definitely watch those. I uh, even throw in Plunder, even though I'm not too sure yet at the moment. The other one you should definitely watch if you want like either a good story or some good like action or like even some comedy. Uchitama actually has some comedy too, but I'm not sure if that's going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I'll add it in this honorary mention right there. But I'll put the names in the comments down below so y'all can uh, just copy and search for it on whatever you use to watch your anime. But anyways, I'm TK, TK Dory Square. I was talking for a long time again, then I? I talked for 22 minutes. Well, not bad. Not that bad. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. Till next time, not sure what the next video is going to be. I thought about doing a trade action for Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale got a new trailer out, but it's super short. I don't, I don't like doing trailers on. I don't like doing trailer reactions on super short trailers because it's not much to want me to see or to speak on. But anyways, I'm out. Till next time, I'll talk to y'all later.